On Sunday, October 11th, this building under construction at the Obalende area of Lagos collapsed, killing at least eight people and leaving several others injured. State officials are back on site, continuing search and rescue operations. Residents of the area blame the ugly incident on the government for allowing the developers to continue with construction after they were asked to stop work on the building. We have decided on our own that henceforth, any building that is going to be constructed in this community, we have to be involved with them. Even the developer, for the first time, doesn't have money to develop this house. That's why he delay. You suppose don't finish. There are some houses they have started and they have finished it. And if you see on top of the building, there's a seal there. There's a seal. And government officials, they knew. But I don't know actually what happened, where they allowed them to continue the building. The Lagos State Material Testing Laboratory official and others disagree with the residents insisting that the developer flouted the directive of the government. We tell them before you do any of the um, casting, we need to be informed so that our officers can come around, take the samples, take the coops, and go and subject them into the coding tanks for 7, 14, and 21 days. But this particular uh, defied you know, all that we told him to do. If the city and the citizens have been functioning, have taken their responsibilities, all those things wouldn't have happened. Because definitely the government will know that the construction is going on here, and they have to come and if there's no approval, then the city as the last chair of government should stop them. An a lawmaker representing Etiosa Federal Constituency vows to raise the issue on the floor of the house. Regulations of how to regulate the builders or constructing companies to ensure that we have adequate steel uh, being used for constructing our buildings. This is one of many other construction work ongoing in the area, and residents of Obalinde will be hoping that the Lagos State Government takes a drastic step to ensure that unapproved buildings are not put up for the safety of the people. Titilayo Haberiowu, Channels Television News.